Did you ever want it to have an amazing, fluffy and moist chocolate brioche bread without the mess nor the fuss in about 30 minutes of preparation? Then you are at the right place. In this video, I will be sharing with you one of our staple chocolate brioche recipe when we are in a rush or just want an easy and delicious treat. You will need simple ingredients and a Ziploc bag. No bowls, no spoon, no mess, no fuss. And if you like this kind of content all about simplifying the Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. In your Ziploc bag, you're going to put the warm water, the oil, the warm milk, the egg white, the sugar mix, and finally you're going to put the yeast. Now close the Ziploc bag and mix it until all the ingredients are completely incorporated. Add two cups of flour and the salt, then mix again. After about 30 seconds, you should reach this consistency. Add another half a cup of flour, then mix again. After one to two minutes of kneading, you will see that the dough will not stick to the surface of the bag anymore. Look at the dough. If it's really oily and sticky, add a quarter cup to half a cup of flour. If you find that it's just tacky but not too oily, then your dough is ready. Leave the dough to rise at room temperature for about 30 to 45 minutes, but if you have an oven with a bread proofing option, Leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. Put your dough on a baking mat or any greased surface. Do not use any more flour, this way your dough will stay nice and fluffy. It's time to degas your dough. Place it on your working station and work it until you do not feel any bubbles under your fingertips. Once that your dough is ready, a good practice is to weigh your dough and separate it in equal portions. This way it will ensure that your baking time will be even. Now for the fun part. Take a ball and spread it lightly. Do not make it too thin or the chocolate will ooze through. Put the chocolate filling in the middle of the piece, about one to two teaspoon. And if you want the recipe for the filling, please look at the babka recipe. The link will be found above and the description box below. Today I'm gonna to share with you the pull apart version of this chocolate brioche, but of course you can shape it the way you want. Place the filling in the middle of the dough and pinch the sides together to form a dumpling shape. Flip it and place it into your cooking spring mold. Put all the balls in the baking pan and don't worry if they touch each other, it will just ensure that the brioche will stay nice and moist. Cover your baking pan with some cling wrap and a clean kitchen towel. Let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it has risen, brush the egg yolk on the chocolate brioche bread. You can also add a bit of milk in the egg wash to have a lighter colored finish. Place your chocolate brioche in your preheated oven for 15 to 25 minutes until it is nice and golden. Check the chocolate brioche regularly for it not to be overbaked. If your cooking time is not complete but your brioche is too tanned, put an aluminum foil on top with the reflective side up to avoid further browning. Once that your chocolate bread brioche is out of the oven, cover it with a clean dish towel to trap the moisture in the brioche and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. You are now ready to enjoy this amazingly moist, rich and decadent chocolate brioche bread recipe. Enjoy it, la brioute, and please, if you like this kind of content all about simplifying yet adding meaning to your Jewish life, please consider subscribing. We do upload new content every week. Until next time, stay blessed, stay safe, and don't forget to frum it up.